All right, here's a short video on the uh, fuel tank, gas valve, whatever you wanna call it. Basically, I think it's fumes from the fuel tank that come up through here and they get metered back into the intake. And when I changed my starter, I had disconnected the hose that does that, had a vacuum leak, which was causing the car to idle poorly. But this is the M54 um, in the 2002 BMW Z3, the three liter. So what we're talking about here is this little valve, I'm trying to hold the light and do all this at once, but this valve, uh, which is at the front of uh, near the intake and it hangs here horizontal. I'll go ahead and connect that right now. So that thing's hung back up and it's got a second pipe coming out of it, which, which is a uh, funky valve or not a valve, but a connection that you squeeze to disconnect and then it goes here. Then it runs back and deep and I'm guessing that's all the way back to the fuel tank. So, um, I was able to do it without removing the intake and it's an exercise in anger management as well as patience and uh, breathing, I guess. So <laughs> you end up, um, you have to remove the throttle body. So that's 10 mil bolts, there's four of them. You take the throttle body off, you take this 10 mil nut off, which is bolted to the throttle body, um, holding this uh, module of sorts, whatever it is, some kind of electric thing. Um, this is a plug that you press in to release like that so you gotta disconnect that that was finally enough room to get both hands and if you can see it's way down in there trying to get the camera where you can see this but both hands way back in there and underneath kind of see where you see the colored parts like like almost the rusty parts up and underneath that uh spot behind the throttle body and that's where this hose comes out um so once you can get both hands in, it's a uh, right hand to hold the tube, which is somewhat rigid, but you have to hold it. And then you can press and push on the left side tube. I used a little bit of three in one oil to uh, smooth things and, and make it a little more slippery. I was able to push that hose and it finally went. So that is the end of that. And I didn't have to tear out the intake manifold again, which is, I don't know, I have to do that again. again. This thing might get sent off a cliff instead. It's terrible. So um, that's how that works. And should be back to a smooth idle after this. Of course, uh, all the uh, the entire intake tubing has to come out. It kind of goes without saying.